Hi, this is Puya Rathbun and this is the Fortepiano channel. to watch Miriam Halliberger playing Bach on the forte piano. Well, we all have heard Bach on the modern piano. And we've all, probably all of us, have heard Bach on the harpsichord. But this uh, station in between is the forte piano. The pianos that were available to composers who lived after Bach. We have heard that Bach was forgotten completely. I've read that in many books or uh, websites on the internet, and many people still repeating that. That Bach was forgotten, and it was Mendelssohn who rediscovered Bach's music. It is correct that Mendelssohn rediscovered Bach's music, but it was not really completely forgotten. It was more than a name of Bach that existed. People like, or composers like, Mozart, Beethoven, Neve, and Czerny, and many others, they knew Bach. Forkel, probably the earliest musicologist of the history, uh, knew Bach's sons and Bach's music. He was in love with the clavichord and he preferred Bach's music to be played on the clavichord than even the harpsichord. He really didn't like the harpsichord, I believe. And uh, others like Mozart and Beethoven did play Bach on the piano of their own time. Within their own musical imagination and style. Maybe they also played Bach on the harpsichord, but they m most probably played it on the forte piano, and they were inspired by Bach's music. They definitely played at home his uh, well-tempered clavier. We know. For example, that Mozart transcribed some of them for the string trio, for example. And Beethoven, when he was 11, was already playing Bach's well tempered clavier through his wonderful teacher, Niefe, who brought him many things like um, literature, uh, uh, like Gellert's works or others, uh, and other earlier music as well. So it was very well known to Bach, to sorry, to Beethoven himself, to Mozart, also through Baron van Zwieten, who was very passionate about the older music. He brought manuscripts and early prints and whatever that he had from Handel, Graun and others, and also especially from Bach, and introduced this music to those great composers around him. In 1799, a German music theorist and composer called Coleman published this diagram. You see the name of Johann Sebastian Bach in the middle of that triangle. This he called uh, the son of composers. You see, they valued the older music and they also value their contemporary music. So it clearly shows that Bach's music was not forgotten at all. It was the problem of lacking lots of his wonderful music that were actually 
discovered more and more through Mendelssohn, but also Schumann and Brahms. We know that, for example, the great, great sonatas and partitas of Bach for the violin, for the solo violin, was kept by Brahms. And he introduced it to um, his friends, like to Joachim and others. So before Mendelssohn rediscovered Bach's music, it was played on the forte piano by Beethoven, Czerny and Mozart and others. Especially in the case of Beethoven, it was played on such a piano. And you're about to hear that and watch that played by Miriam Heuberger. Thanks for watching. Thank you.